Hello friends, this video on air and water pollution part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now based on whatever we have discussed so far, our little friend has got scared. He feels that okay, that means water we drink might also be polluted. So that's scary. Yes, because there are so many ways by which water can get polluted and when we actually look at the pictures, we feel that yes, that is how the, the nearby pond or the nearby river looks like. It almost looks like a dustbin. So maybe whatever we are drinking, that is also completely polluted. But that is not really the fact. Water we drink is actually purified. That's why we say that human beings are very smart. On one hand, they, they are the ones who are actually polluting water bodies, but when the same water from the water bodies are coming to them, they just do not drink it like that. I mean, most of them just do not do that. So most of them purify the water to ensure that they are not getting affected. So now we will talk about purification of water. But again, this is involving extra cost, extra time and extra effort. Instead of this, if we prevent water pollution, then we will also not have that fear of uh, being caught by diseases caused by water. So why do we purify water? I don't think I really need to explain a lot on this because we already saw that how frequent water pollution is and what are the various causes that can make water pollution. To get rid of disease causing microorganisms because water, a polluted water might contain a lot of germs, a lot of pathogens. Water might be contaminated with feces or sewage. So if the sewage is not treated properly and it is directly disposed of into a water body, so definitely it is going to contain excreta of different animals, feces and all waste water. Might contain dissolved harmful chemicals. The chemicals which were used in the agricultural field in the form of insecticides or pesticides or fertilizers, they might be present in the water in dissolved form. Contain tiny particles of dirt or mud because even in the water body at the bottom you have mud and sand and all those things. So they might know there, there might be tiny particles of them present in water. Now we do not want to consume all these things along with water because they can cause harm to our body. So we want to remove them from water and that is why we purify water. Now the water which is suitable for our drinking purposes, that water is called potable water. So not all water is potable. So only those water which has been treated, which has been treated either in a water treatment plant or they have been purified in some way, they are called potable water. That means they can, they are suitable for drinking. They are not going to cause any diseases. So that is why you would have seen that there are so many different brands of water available in the market like bisleri, aquafine. So what are they? They are all purified water. So they all I mean, give you a measure of how much purified their water is. Now, what are the different methods by which we can purify water? So, filtration is one such method which helps to remove uh, solid particles from water. So, it is a physical method to remove impurities. So, in this case, the impurities are removed with the help of a fine physical barrier. So, this barrier can again be any substance which has tiny pores on it so that the pores will allow only the water to pass through it but it will not allow any other impurity to pass through it and these pores are extremely tiny they are so tiny that you cannot visualize it with your naked eye very easily so however i mean it is not microscopic also but they are extremely small that's what i meant to say so Normally, you would have seen the water filters present in, in your house. So, they are normally the candle type ceramic filters. So, these are called candle type ceramic filters because you have ceramics in the shape of candle inside the filter. So, if you get a chance, just try to have a look at it. So, this is how the candles look like and it is made up of ceramic which is porous in nature. So, it has tiny pores. There are small pore size of the ceramic material. This filters the dirt, debris, bacteria, etc. So, normally this is how our household filters are. So, this fine mesh like structures or these fine pores present 
needs to be cleaned periodically because they are always trapping these dirt and debris and bacteria so they need to be cleaned periodically so this type this is an example of a ceramic filter which is normally used in our household but there are many different types of filter for example here a laboratory setup of a filter has been shown but the basic principle of filtration is that a fine barrier will physically remove the impurities from water the next purification method is boiling. So boiling is another very effective method of purifying water and this is also very commonly followed by our mothers in our home. So boiling kills the germs and parasites. So it actually get, kills all the disease causing microorganisms that might be present in water. Now you would have uh, observed that for small babies, uh, all their vessels are also boiled before they are being fed with that bottle. They are, every time a uh, meal is prepared for them, the water is completely boiled so that there are no chances that any disease causing microorganism remain in the water. Now, it is very much needed to bring the water to full boil for a minimum of five minutes. So water should be completely boiling. It, it is not enough to just heat the water or as soon as the water started boiling, you just uh, switched off the stove. That will not work. So the water should start boiling and it should continue to boil for minimum five minutes or more. And only then you know that you are safe of all the disease causing germs. Another purification method could be chlorination. So what is chlorination? That is addition of chlorine. The name itself speaks for itself. Adding chlorine to water to kill disease causing microbes. Now what does chlorine do? So now what happens is chlorine when dissolved in water it mixes with water or it gets dissolved in water to form hypochlorous acid and high hydrochloric acid so it forms this is hypochlorous acid and this is hydrochloric acid and also chlorine so now what do these do now these help in killing the disease causing microorganisms now how is chlorine applied to water either in the form of chlorine tablets mostly in the form of chlorine tablets. Some people also try to chlorinate water by adding bleaching powder. So bleaching powder, why bleaching powder? Because bleaching powder is nothing but calcium hypochlorite, that is CaClO2. So this also contains chlorine. So due to the presence of chlorine, many people use bleaching powder. However, it is not much advisable to put a lot of bleaching powder into water because uh, in any ways the chlorine in it will kill the disease causing microorganisms but bleaching powder as such might also impact the quality of the water. So more preferred option is to use chlorine tablets. So these are these were some of the water purification methods. So knowing thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.